My name is uh, Solomon, Solomon Chan. Uh, I was born in Samoa. I came to New Zealand in a young age. But I, I want to talk about um, my life. Um, w what is it to be a Christian? Um, I was growing up without a father. Mother was brought up by my grandmother, and it was all good. But um, there are times in life, uh, um, it's no good. It's not nice to, you know, to grow up without a father. And uh, if you grow up, it's, it's the same as my background. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yes, I uh, grew up in Samoa. Uh, Father, Father, you, you, sometimes you, you know people don't want to, you know, they don't want to know you. You kind of uh, neglect a lot. And um, <clears throat> um, I come to New Zealand in young age. Uh, um, I don't know about God. I don't know anything about God and, and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. I don't know that. I don't know anything. In uh, 1976, uh, we went to a camp in Tokoroa. This is uh, AOG camp, and. Um, there was um, uh, a time where, where this preacher did the altar call at the camp. And um, I stood up. Now, here it is, uh, uh, a 12-year-old that don't know anything about God. They don't, they, I, I don't know anything about Jesus or the Holy Spirit. But what I did, I stood up. I, I think I just follow, you know, people walk up to the front to the altar call. And I remember... I, I stood at the back of these people, and I can remember right now that you know that they, they were tall. They were tall people, and um, and the next minute I I I find myself lying on a bunk, you know, uh, where we sleep um, at the camp. And um, I look around. <clears throat> there was, you know, the room was full of people, and they were all lying on the floor on the bed, and I find myself lying on this bunk. And I remember that day, my friends, you know, uh, they were young. They used, they come up and, and pull me down. They said, come on, let's go and play. And, and here it is. I tried to stand up, but I, I, I can't. I couldn't stand up because my power was like an a electrician that went through my body. And I can still remember today that power that, that was in me. That, and, and it was so hard for me to, to stand up or sit up. But I want to share the story about you know, sometimes we feel that we need to know God and know Jesus before we, we receive the Spirit or the anointing. But for my story, see, I don't know Jesus. I don't know God. I don't know the Holy Spirit. But one thing I know, He knew me. And here it is. A 13-year-old boy that received the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit. So, in that time, and um, I went to school and do what normally the, the young age. And at my age of 18, I knew that I was going to be a, become a pastor. And, uh, and it took me 18 years to walk and I fulfilled that, that dream. I am a pastor now. But I just want to tell a story, what it, what it means to be a Christian. I, I don't believe, for me, to go to church is good and it's fine. But I believe that I should do more than that. To become a Christian, I, I, this is my aim. In the, the book of Corinthians, it says, the message about the cross is meaningless to those people who are perishing or those people who are out in the world. But to those who are saved, it's the power of God. Now, here it is. I received the power of the Holy Spirit. And here it is. I'm sitting in church, get anointed, filled with joy, and and I'm happy, I have a family. But in deep in me, there is, a, there is a, a hungry spirit that I should do more than that. Because there are people out there, out in the world, they need to know that the message about the cross is not meaningless. It's not. It's, 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 it's life, it's joy, and it's, and it's everything that, that we need. And this is where I come at. I, I prefer to spend more, most of my time with people out there. They don't know about God. Why? Because they need to know that the cross, the message about the cross, it brings hope. 
it brings life, it brings joy. See, this, this is where we need to, to go out and tell people about God because we experience the goodness of God. But let me tell you, if you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, not accept Him as your Lord and Savior, there is a hole that's in here, and you know what I'm talking about, that needs to fulfill. And it's the only way to fill that is Jesus Christ. And that's why I love to serve God, not in the church, but outside of the church. That's why I share the story about, cross, about the cross and myself. I share to people that, you know, Jesus Christ is the only way. Amen? So, um, yeah, that's my story. And what do I think about serving God? It's an honor. It's an honor to serve God. I'm, you know, I'm not ashamed of Jesus Christ. Wherever I go, I tell people I'm a Christian. I, I follow Christ. Why? Because Jesus Christ, He saved me and He, and he used me. And, you know, but I know that when I die, heaven is my place. So, bless you. Amen.